robot teams, are you ready? Let's start the match in three, two, one. Today we had our District 214 Robot Rumble competition here at Hersey High School. This competition is comprised of 13 schools in our local area. So all of the D214 schools, all of the D211 schools, and then we invited West Leiden as well as Niles West to come and compete with their robots. I want to do Robot Rumble because robots fighting robots. If you don't want to do this, you're insane. <laughs> We've been like for the last this whole week. We we've, we've just been helping like other groups set up. So like a bunch of schools come in after school and they drop their robots off and we bring it here and all that stuff. And we get to meet all the teachers and stuff. And it's like it's such a nice environment knowing that there's a, all of these kids that all have the same efforts as you and they all just like come together and do this awesome thing. We got a new motor. Okay. So after matches, most times robots are beat up pretty bad. So what the kids need to do is go back to the pits and put the robots back together. So it could be a quick fix as changing out batteries or as major of a fix as welding on brand new frame members. We're trying to, we're just putting it in a new spot. What is right, make sure that's secure though. But toward the end of the competition, when the kids are you know, getting toward the end of the bracket, they only have about 30 minutes to put the robots completely back together. And it's just a feat of engineering and problem solving that you, you just can't see anywhere else with these kids. For me, it's engineering. I want to be an architect. So this would be awesome for me because I can just put this on my resume. I can tell schools about this and they can instantly just be like, oh, wow, that's awesome. You like created this whole thing by yourself. Taking some big hits, but it just keeps going. We had over 36 robots entered in the competition uh, to start. And it was a double elimination competition, meaning the robots had to lose twice to be out of the bracket style competition. But that doesn't mean that they're out of the competition altogether. Because those robots that did lose twice already do get the opportunity to enter into Royal Rumbles. And that's the most fun part of the whole competition where we have five to 10 robots in the arena all at once battling against everyone else in the arena. What was your uh, thought process when designing this robot? Uh, strong defense so that we don't get destroyed. We have a live stream link that anybody in district or anybody across the world can actually tune in and see this. Yeah, so it's me, Roland, Alex, and we're ready to win. Uh, we had fans from all age ranges, coming from grandma and grandpa, showing up, mom and dad, and then all the way down to our next generation of engineers. So one of our robots at Hersey, they fought their way back through the loser's bracket. They went into the championship round with a record of nine and one. They were going up against an undefeated Roland Meadows robot that had five wins at the time and no losses. At double elimination, Hersey, they went up against Roland Meadows, they won the first match, and then they had to fight again. They fought again in the second battle, and Rolling Meadows, due to a judge's decision, came out on top. They had a great driver and a great robot. Overall, this event is, it was a great success here at Hersey. Kids really learned a lot about engineering, especially those kids that, that had to continually fix a robot after battle after battle after battle. You know, I think it went off without a hitch. All the kids had fun. We're looking forward to next year. Can't wait to see those new robots. Go! Let's go! Let's go!